everyone welcome to figure fantasy so we have here rimuru tempest i'll give you guys my thoughts on the figure and should you summon for him and also for Milim. okay so we'll start with rimuru first so he is a vanguard class definitely a melee um figure so we have here his uh, ultimate it's called megiddo attacks the target in adjacent enemies and deals damage one additional time for each other unit hit so this is going to give you multiple hits with multiple targets so two additional units two additional attacks that's an example one additional unit one additional attack so one plus one it's it's like it's like that so while dealing increased damage to poison units or poison targets so um there's gonna be uh, there's gonna be a bit of a synergy here between milim and him uh milim actually uh, gives out poison um there are other units actually that uh, give out poison as well which is chow chow um let's continue with his ultimate the target will be devoured for the first time the ultimate is unleashed not sure what the me what's the meaning of devoured um could be um, taken out could be killed but we'll see when we demo his skills. And we'll grant Rimuru either Black Flame or Black Thunder. If the target is killed within a certain amount of time thereafter. We'll go to Black Flame and Black Thunder in his passive. So passive is Gluttony. The first basic attack on each different target. Divorce them to stun them and heal yourself. So definitely I think one one of the character characteristics of a vanguard is being able to heal themselves, self-sustaining heals and survivability. So definitely this is going to be very very big the stun in the heal and plus the multiple damage uh really really he is going to be OP as a vanguard probably our top uh vanguard in the game. Uh, when he comes out as of this moment okay so for our server only but not for the other servers for our server only okay so let's read this uh devouring range uh enemies will grant block thunder which recovers energy and your basic attack becomes ranged okay so re uh, energy recovery and basic attack Becomes ranged while unleashing the ultimate also triggers additional damage. So again, there are a lot of there there are a lot of um, if I may say additions to his passive. A lot of a lot of triggering of skills. Um, this is going to be good. Um, I like his kit already. While devouring melee enemies will grant. I think devour is killing. So devouring melee enemies will grant black flame, which increases attack speed and your basic attack has a chance to trigger additional damage while it also decreases uh, deals increased damage to poisoned units. So again, a lot of synergy in terms of uh, dealing more damage to poisoned units. Special is boost the dodge chance to restore health for each successful dodge. Boost your own attack and defense as well. And his attack is uh, starts from the first enemy in the same line so the immediate enemy that is in front of him attack speed is already fast so definitely i think you should give him more attack speed i think so okay we'll go to his um um uh, uh figure build once we have him to more but definitely the kit looks really really nice and i sh i think you should get him guys um not only that this is a collab and this is limited i think there will be other events that will help us get copies of him hopefully hopefully i'm just crossing my fingers let's go to milim first and see how or what she does okay for milim nova so she is a militarist definitely they're not of the same brand so you're gonna be splashing her in his team Okay, so for his uh, ultimate, so Drag Go Buster attacks the target and surrounding enemies and attacks up to two additional times again after. Okay, is, is, his kit is similar to, to Rimuru. Multiple hits, 
multiple attacks. The damage decreases with each time with guaranteed chance to add two additional attacks for enemies under the effect of honeypot or controlled effects. The ultimate has a chance to poison the target with each attack. So this is what I'm talking about. The poison and deals additional damage to poison enemies. So she deals additional damage as well. If the ultimate fails to kill any enemies, it will be triggered once again, but without an additional attack. So again, both of them are heavy on DPS. Both of them are going to be terrific if you need um, DPS units to be built right now so next is going to be her passive demon lord's pillage inflict honeypot on a target at the start of the battle which reduces the target's basic attack power so if this is on your on the opposing enemies a uh, main dps figure then this is going to lower it significantly the target takes millim's pillage attack once every four basic attacks they, uh, they perform which steals their energy wow so another another good uh, addition to passive uh, again compared to Rimurud, uh, her passive also has a lot of things here and pillage attack deals an area damage and stuns them so again stun they're, they're both similar they very much complement each other when the target dies honeypot will spread to infect the nearby targets while also granting million control immunity and attack bonus so again you have to have her with him they're going to be a very op duo um let's go through the special here milim i boost your damage when there are no surrounding enemies and boost attack and crit chance to yourself and the last one the basic attack attacks an enemy starts from the first enemy in the same line attack speed is also fast so both of them um similar kits um i think the only difference would be this um Rimuru is going to be vanguard and uh, milim is going to be militarist and they have this they have the different brand so kind of similar um strat uh, kind of similar um in the way that they deal damage multiple hits uh stuns as well I think uh, Milim doesn't have a heal, so that is the difference from Rimuru. But definitely, these two are worth, um, you know, worth the hype. So if you're considering getting them tomorrow or for the next three weeks, please do, because they're going to be part of the meta moving forward. Um, I'm not joking, you guys. These two are a force to reckon with and hopefully you know everybody could get them so happy hunting tomorrow guys i uh, hope you you know have the summons that you need and i will see you tomorrow guys i'll do a summoning video for the both of them hopefully and um, hopefully i could get them and thank you guys for staying this far so if you are still here, please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot. Um, again, just want to repeat, both of them are worth summoning. So do not do not hesitate. Pull on their banners. They will you know, do wonders for your lineup. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.